Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we were headed off to do the Cloister of Trials in Kilika, but because Titus is not a guardian, I guess we're not allowed to. Where's Yunus? So they just went down the elevator. Then why and, uh, are you left me here. here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? There you go. Hmm, not a guardian, you say? No, what's it to you? Hey, wait! Wait, what? What? Hey, dude! No, 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 no! Get off of me, man! Dude, what the hell? Oh. What's the big idea, Fox? Just a little game. Just a little game. Mr. Jones? Okay. This is bad. Really bad. They make these cloister of trial things out to be so dangerous, like, oh man, I'm gonna die down here, but like, there's no monsters, so it's like, well, what the hell? Anyway, alright, so, uh, let me check something out here. Hang on. Oh, okay, I'm ready to go. Let's enter the, go inside. Go inside, wait here. Uh, I think we're gonna go inside. I'm sure no guardian. So what are you gonna do, climb back out? Well, I guess it's too late now. Yeah, but you're gonna get in trouble. Lulu's gonna say, no, you're not supposed to be down here, and all this crap, and... Uh, oh, man. The mere sight of the pedestal. Okay, I guess we're going in fast forward now, because we're in a cloister of trials, so maybe I should talk a little slower. Just a little. Not much. Anyway, so we're gonna wanna go over here and take the Kilka Sphere out from the pedestal, and use it to burn the door open over here, which you'll be doing a lot of in this particular cloister. And by a lot, I mean two or three times. So I have to take this here back to actually put the blaze out, otherwise you can't walk through it. So. Alright. Yeah, we got the sphere, man. You always have to push A to, like, remove it. So what we're gonna do is put it up here into this slot up here. And this should make... Yes. Glyph appears. Alright, so... Take the sphere back. And... I think we're gonna put it... Isn't there, like, an empty slot over here? Yeah. Put it right there. And we're gonna go back over here and touch this glyph. Yes. Ooh, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's a big fiery room. What are we supposed to do now? Holy crap. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got another Kilka Sphere over here. I suppose we can take that. Wait a second. I'm not sure I was totally supposed to do that. Well, maybe. Here, let's actually step on this here. And that should bring the pedestal. Wait, does it? Wait, maybe it brings it over. Oh yeah, it does. It brings it over here. Okay, and these pedestals usually have, a uh, like, multiple slots on them, so you can, like, you know, you can only hold one sphere at a time. Well, that's lame. That doesn't seem to put the fire out anyway, so, uh, let me put that back. I wasn't supposed to pick that up yet. Yeah, so. Let me actually get the glyph sphere here. No, go ahead and take it. Okay, what I need to do is get the glyph sphere into the wall where the Kilika sphere is, but I can only fit one sphere at a time. Like, I can only hold one at a time, so what I have to do is put this one back here, right? And that's not going to do anything, even though it looks like it does. So then we can take this one out of the wall and put it in the pedestal, because there's nowhere else for it to go. I mean, I don't see why you can't just put it on the floor or something, but apparently that's the nature of these puzzles. You only hold one at a time, and you just be moving these things around, and it's just... Oh my god, it's such a pain in the ass. Now we have to go back and get the Glyph Sphere, and put it in the spot where that Kilika Sphere just was. Well, the, well, I can't see you. No, no, take it. That's right. Take the Sphere. Don't be shy. And let's go put this where that was. I think this opened the door, but I'm not entirely sure. Wait, what? No, I don't want to install quick time. Get out of here. Jeez. Could have picked a worse time. Alright, this does open a door. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Alright. I think we need to push this. Uh, it's so hard to get around these to push them the right way. Yeah, so I believe we're going to need to... Yeah, this isn't too complicated. Once you know what you're doing, it's not so bad. It's just a matter of, like, once you get the hang of it, like, okay, I know what this is doing here now and all that. So, push that over there and it causes the platform to actually collapse. And there should be a new Kilika Sphere down here, so let's go pick that up. Yes, because we're going to need to put a Destruction Sphere right there later. So, let's get this out of here. Um, I suppose we could... Wait a minute. What was I thinking? We got the exit is available to us now. So, uh, let's go ahead and put it there. Yeah, this is pretty much the exit, so we're done now. But once again, we want to get the Destruction Sphere before we leave. So, that door that we just opened up with the Glyph Sphere, well, I would imagine it's probably in there. So, let's go get it. Let's get it. 
Yeah, the destruction fear is always like a weird purple color. So that's kind of how you remember. Purple is an awesome color. Purple Link is the most intriguing one, so... Let's put it in here and see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, something happened. I'm not sure exactly what, but now there's a treasure, so... Boom! Got the red arm. What? Very nice piece of armor for Kamari. So, at this point we take the sphere now that we burned the exit out. And it doesn't matter if you're holding a sphere when you finish up. It, uh, that doesn't matter. You're, you're done. So, yeah. <sighs> what a pain in my ass. Good lord, that took like eight minutes. Oh, hey, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn it! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Oh. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Well, uh, damn it. Thanks for the guilt trip. What, are these guys a bunch of control freaks, to? too? Oh. Well, it wasn't our fault. It wasn't our fault. <gasps> oh. oh, thanks a lot, Mr. Wait. So yeah. what's in there anyway? Yeah. It's the, the faith. faith. Remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. That thing, right. It's right, it's just like the playing faith along. Are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Oh. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. My. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But Man. when a summoner beckons. The souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. Good lord, can it get more confusing? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She's on her knees she praying. Her for a way to defeat sin. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so there's not much you can the do here besides wait. It's a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. I know. What? Even guardians can't go? Nope. It's taboo. Why do you think we're standing out here? For our health? Anyway, the only way to progress is actually to try to leave, and that's what makes her come out. Otherwise, you can be standing here all day trying to figure out what to do next. There she comes looking like Renoa, possessed by Ultimacia again. Ultimacia. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. Ooh, that what is song it? we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why suddenly I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried but you were just talking about becoming a guardian like five minutes ago. Come. Oh man. Whatever. Okay, so we have a new Aeon now, Ifrit. That's the Aeon for the... Um, for the Kilika Temple that she got. Now, we need somebody who's, uh... Fiery. Like, angry. Or, uh... I don't know, what what's, like, fire? That's like me. Maybe I should name him after me. I guess I could be Ifrit. Uh, that would just be stupid, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Let me just, uh, think about this for a minute. Well, okay, fine. This, this is pretty much the first name that came to my mind for the Aeon, anyway. So, we're gonna go with that. Um, you know who that is. So, yeah. Confirm. If it's gonna be Josh Jepson. So, uh... Jeez, man, Tim... You have, you have said nothing. This commentary has been like the crappiest piece of junk. My mommy and dad are at a place called the Far Plane. I wonder when they're coming home. Aww, that's so sad. I ignored the precepts and went into the cloister once. Boy, did I get in trouble. Yeah, because they just love their little cloister so much. Their clue, their Google cloister. Their Goo Goo cloister. Oh boy, that's what I could call this episode, Goo Goo cloister. May the Kilika Beasts win this year's tournament and serve as a sign of encouragement and hope for the people of Kilika. Kilika. Jeez. Kilika Temple is the Temple of Fire. Even the Cloister of Trials is engulfed in flames. Yeah, I was there. I saw that. Yeah. No, 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 no. You don't have to... Uh... Jeez. What, so you would kill somebody just for going into some place. That's... That's not religion. That's re... Some other re-word that I'm not gonna say. 
course, I already have, so it doesn't matter. Man, nice bare midriff there on that one girl. Everybody's all happy. Yeah, I got the A on. Stay away from the summoner! I guess she's not going to summon it in front of the town like she did the first time. Or maybe it's implied that she did there. I don't know. I can see that. Oh, yeah, Titus getting flashbacks of being famous, people cheering. He goes crazy here and it looks so stupid. Behind me. Uh. <laughs> Whatever. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. I remember feeling like that when I was in Virginia. I wanted to go back to Wisconsin so bad. I remember standing there with a magic eight ball, asking it if I was ever go if I, if I would ever go back. Uh, are you okay? And when it said I, yes, I got so happy. I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream uh. real loud. <laughs> ah! There, I, I thought I'd scream for him because his scream sounds really lame. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, we're back down here again. Well, thanks for taking us all the way down the staircase. Wait, so we're going back out to Kilika then. Alright. I can handle that. Don't worry, we're not missing any Albed primers. The next one is on the ship. Just make sure you get it. Man, did you see that? 663. Woohoo! Yeah, woohoo is right, Waka. What the heck, man? Alright, so Waka did a pretty insane amount of damage there. I didn't expect to see that off of him. Damn. He must have had his Wheaties for breakfast this morning. Alright, so we're on our way back out to the village, and we're going to make our way to Luka after this. The gigantic town of Luka. It's so huge, it's not even funny. Oh my god, we got so many episodes between now and then. Here I was thinking that there was actually a chance I might make it there in today's recording session. Well, ha 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 ha, yeah. Fat chance of that. A summoner named Donna passed through here a while ago. She'll probably be taking the ferry. Oh, that's just great. She's going to be on the same boat with us. Damn it. So much for my privacy. Ugh. Whatever. I guess she's not so bad. Mm, whatever. Nothing much there. Anything else going on in the pub? Yeah, who cares? Who cares about the pub? We're off to Luca as soon as I finish this off. We we're just hammering the same spot over and over again. I can imagine that would take a while. So, are we ready to embark? I believe we are. Off to Luca at last. Yeah, Luca, the Luca, Luca. Start soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah. All right. Hey, cool. It's another team. Who are they? Are they from Kilika? That's kind of cool. Kilika, cool. Kilika. That's such a funny name for a town, Kilika. I don't know why that's so funny. It just is. Hmm. So, we're taking the same ship now to Luka, which I... Couldn't you get the Albed Primer on this trip, too? Because I know where it is now. And for some reason, I couldn't find that room on my first trip, so maybe it'll still be there. I don't know. Man, walking around like you deserve to even be part of the crowd, you dumbass. I was talking to Bixen there. More like Dixon. More like Little Dixon. Yeah, from now on I'm calling him Little Dixon. That's his name. So, uh, we gotta be running out of time here though, don't we? So... Ugh. Look at that, they're shouting obscenities to Yuna and Kamari doesn't even care. Cause he can't do anything about it because they got free speech! Fucking free speech! Okay, I guess we're ready to go, Titus. Okay. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to wander around the ship and see what's going on. See ya! Ah! Quit yawning, man! Quit yawning. <laughs>